Georgie Sax Riffs. I'm here for the fans who love to jam. And this week we are continuing our mission from the Blues Brothers concerning all things to do with soul with the timeless classic, Shake Your Tail Feather. From the very first Hammond Lick played by soul legend Ray Charles, we know we're in for a treat with this number. Ray sings and accompanies himself for seven bars, then if you've ever heard this song before, you'll know the horns are in on the eighth bar with... For this opening fill, we are playing seven stabs on F sharp. F sharp! Let's take it from the top. are played in a call and response to Ray Charles' vocals. Our first cue is when Ray sings, Well, I know that the boogaloo is out of sight. We come in tight on the end of that line with G sharp, B, G sharp. <laughs> Sections swoop up to the G sharp there. They're playing a grace note just before the G sharp, which for us altos is F sharp. F sharp. Let's try that riff again, this time with the grace note. Didn't you think I could? That's our next vocal cue. This time our response is. F sharp, A, F sharp, E, D, B, B. Let's go from and the shangalangs can't deny and let's crescendo with the horns on the last B. The horns have been in unison up to this point, and now we split into harmonies. On alto, we slide down with B, B flat, A, A flat, which is the same as G sharp. The brass section play a really cool dynamic on the beginning of this riff. It's called a Schwarzando. It's when a note has a strong sudden accent followed immediately by piano. Then the rest of the riff has a crescendo. It's quite difficult, but it sounds great. Let's take it from the top up to the end of the Schwarzando riff. crescendos over two bars. At the beginning of each note, the volume should be down to piano in order to build again. Then we get the payoff. We stab F sharp on the it of twist it, then we continue under shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, baby, with G sharp, G, G sharp, G, G sharp. 
Then on the last syllable of baby, we play F sharp again, followed by seven F sharp stamps. Let's take it from twist it. <laughs> Then we crescendo on E for two bars over. Here we go, loop de loop. The baritone sax then calls, and we answer with a B stamp. B. Then in response to Ray's shake it up, baby, we play B A B. A, F sharp. Then we hold E again over two bars with a crescendo through the line, here we go loop de la. Then we're back into the build up towards the chorus. F sharp, B flat, C sharp, E, F sharp. Let's take it from the top up to the end of the second build-up. And don't forget our dynamics. Well, I heard about the fella you've been dancing with All over the neighborhood So why didn't you ask me, baby? Or didn't you think I could? This is our extended outro. You've played this riff already. It's the chorus. Now we play this outro for 33 bars. Your left little finger has never had a workout like it. Then us brass have a two bar breather as the band reprise ah, the two bars before the chorus. Then we're back in with our outro riff for 12 bars before finally ending on the 13th bar with a sweep up to B. Remember, listen up for vocal cues to lead you through the song. It's always worth learning the lyrics to a song so you know which verse you're in. And remember, don't worry if you go wrong. Keep listening and drop in where you can. Have fun. I hope you've had a good time. Stay safe and subscribe here.